century are impressed by one man's massive collection of a popular toy. KCTV5's Emily Rittman gives us a first look at 100,000 Hot Wheels, which will soon be up for sale. Employees spent hours carefully unloading 1,000 totes, all of them filled with Hot Wheels. And check this out. This collector was very organized, meticulous even. Some totes had the cars that were inside right there on the front. It's hard to show you just how many Hot Wheels were kept in pristine condition. There's no dust. By a collector from Kearney who recently passed away. His family preferred that we didn't share his name. He had the bug, and the bug is collecting. He had his own personal collection at home that he would look at on a daily basis, but then he had the rest of this stuff that was in storage. I've been collecting Hot Wheels for about 20 years. Kenny Bates knew the collector. They were both members of the Mocan Hot Wheelers Collectors Club. For years, Kenny talked with his fellow club member about his collection, but seeing it all in one place was impressive. That's a lot of cars, a lot of cars. And in, until you actually see it, it's hard to really imagine it. You've got the classic collection. The owner of Lily's Estate Sales, Andrew Rowland, says the collector went on treasure hunts, buying case after case after case to find factory sealed first editions and rare finds, including Hot Wheels made in the 1960s up until this year. Oh, I think the ones from India, the Leo Mattels. The Leo Mattels are really rare because they were made back and only in a certain time and then they weren't exported. The common cars in this Hot Wheels collection could be sold for a dollar, while other unique cars could go for several hundred dollars a piece. There was a, a car that was sold from here in the Kansas City area that's worth probably $100,000. And it was a rare prototype. We asked just how much the whole collection was worth. That's, that's a tough question to answer. It is clear that the collector thoroughly enjoyed finding and protecting these tiny pieces of many of our childhoods. Most of us ripped these packages right open, but he did it. Many fellow collectors will be thankful for that. Get this, they are still sorting through thousands of cars. That's why the sale starts at noon on July 18th and runs through the 20th right here at Lily's Estate Sales in Overland Park. Reporting from Overland Park, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News.